Hey, what's up, man? Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a hot little second since I've uploaded to YouTube, but now that I have a camera that is compact and it's it's just way more convenient, you know what I'm saying, to just pull it out and start recording, unlike my big, huge iPad. But anyways, today's video honestly was inspired probably like a couple days ago because I did get uh, some more equipment in for this camera for my YouTube setup. So that made me think about, you know, I should probably do a what's in my tick bag for late 2019 because I have accumulated a lot of stuff over this year. I mean, I, granted, I don't use everything, but I do have the stuff in there for like, you know what I'm saying, emergencies. You never know what you may need at a given time. So I do tend to just, you know, hoard it all and keep it in there. But I mean, it's not extremely bad to where, you know what I'm saying, it's just out of hand. It's, it's not out of hand, don't get me wrong. I'll see you in a second and we're gonna get into that. first things first you got to have a bag so my bag is a swiss gear backpack um i got it maybe like two three years ago uh right before i went to college for my freshman year any bag honestly it doesn't matter what you get it will last if you just simply take care of it it's nothing fancy it's nothing just super extravagant it doesn't have like any crazy like super features or whatever it's just a normal backpack laptop type bag you don't have to go out and spend like a hundred dollars on on a simple bag you know what i'm saying you can just use a normal backpack or whatever you have at the time so next for computer which is you know what i put in the little laptop spot because it is huge i have an ipad pro 12.9 inch that is what i run everything through like i run everything literally like even this footage that i'm getting from this camera will be transferred to my ipad to edit up and everything that is like my backbone that is what i use for a computer um simple you know if you've been subscribed to my channel for a hot little second or if you follow me on social media which i will be popping up on the screen um you will know that i do podcasts my podcast is available on all major podcasting platforms apple Podcasts, google Podcasts, spotify Castbox, and of course to podcast if you want better quality it is best to just go ahead and get you a microphone the one that i ended up getting i ordered it on amazon it's less than 30 dollars. it is by aokio and it works perfectly fine for me um it comes in a box has everything you know uh the cables to it it has the little popper thing it has the arm everything like it, ha it comes with everything like you cannot beat it for 30 dollars. i promise you so that is what i use the podcast and also i did like literally it just came in the other day i just snagged a boya mic and it is like a lapel mic you can clip it on i am not using it currently for this video but in future videos you will uh, hear audio coming from the Boya mic, but uh, it just came in and it's just a lapel You clip it on you and it sounds wonderful. You know, what I'm saying it was only $20 You know, what I'm saying like th that it honestly sounds better than my podcasting mic I'm not gonna lie like I might actually start podcasting from that mic and it's Way smaller and it comes with like a little leather baggie. So that's pretty dope in my opinion One of the more important things that I do carry in my bag of course is what I'm filming this video with which is my new Canon EOS M50 uh, Man, it's, it's a wonderful camera. It is very compact Wonderful quality man. It's really crazy like compared to my old videos that I ran through my iPad like my iPad was actually my camera and everything like my prop everything like i used to run everything through my ipad dead series so like to jump up and to be in a position where i can you know what i'm saying get this camera uh it was it was well worth it i'm not gonna lie and anyways this is also what i carry uh with me and also like the lens covers and stuff like that because i don't just carry everything i mean i just don't carry the whole camera put together i do break it up into little pieces and you know what i'm saying separate them a little bit so they don't scratch up you cannot have a take bag without chargers and what I mean by chargers, I mean you gotta have a charger for everything okay so I have my battery charger for my camera I have external battery chargers one is 13,000 milliamps the other one is like 12,000 and I had like a 20,000 and I lost it I don't know exactly where it is but I had one of those that I used to always carry with me but you got to have your chargers you never know what's gonna happen I also carry like my iPad charger you know what I'm saying my phone charger I also have an extra block that is literally still in the plastic. So if anything was to happen to one of my blocks, uh, 
I can just unwrap that one. It's an iPad block too, so you know what I'm saying? It is going to charge pretty fast. That joker's powerful. So you cannot do all of this stuff without chargers, man. You just cannot do it. There's no possible way. Now with this next one, a lot of people may not do this. Uh, a lot of people may be like, you know, I have my phone for that. But I remember things better if I write them down. So I do carry um, my planner. And I also carry, well, it's not, well, it's kind of a planner. I, I made it a planner. But it's just a normal tablet or whatever that my girlfriend got me a while back. So that is what I usually put all of my plans in and I turn, I literally turn it into a planner, but I keep that, you know, to have some paper and to plan it, plan everything that I have going on. Also, I keep pens and pencils, you know what I'm saying? Just so I can write that stuff down. I just remember things better when I write it down. If I type, if I just type it in my phone, you know, I may forget to, you know what I'm saying, set a reminder or something like that. So if I put it in my notes, I will completely forget about it. But if I write it down, nine times out of 10, I will remember no matter what, like I will remember that. This may seem weird, but I carry a stress star uh, that I got in college during finals week. And the only reason why I do that is because if I'm sitting somewhere super long, you know what I'm saying, things may be frustrating. You know, it kind of does get frustrating. Um, you know what I'm saying, editing videos and stuff like that or whatever you just may be doing, it doesn't matter. You know, wherever you just take your stuff to, uh, you may be just anywhere. You could be studying, for instance, you know what I'm saying? Things get frustrating. So, you know, I do tend to have a stress star to, you know what I'm saying, just relax cool off a little bit last but not least for my tech bag uh, i carry a flask i carry a custom flask that my girlfriend got me a while back uh for christmas actually last year or it was my birthday anyway she did give me a custom flask and i do carry it in my bag because it matches you know all of my stuff is black and silver you know what i'm saying because that's just how most tech is. So, you know, I do carry that. I have never used it, honestly. I've never used it. It's still in the plastic and everything. You know, uh, well, I mean, I, of course, I took it out to take a picture just so I could pop it up on the screen. But other than that, I've never used it. And, you know what I'm saying? It just matches everything, you know? And I think it's pretty dope. And not that many people would have a flask in their tech bag. What if I, you know what I'm saying? What if I get too stressed then somebody's like, you know, do you want a drink? I got a flask for that. So, you know what I'm saying? I got that. Of course, I know a lot of you are probably like, so you don't have any headphones? Where are your headphones? Sad story. I have some Beats by Dre Solo 3s that are, you know, the wireless solos. Uh, they're rose gold. And when I was training in Texas, I went to lay down and I sat on them and broke them. I do, of course, use like, you know, the standard Apple headphones that just plug in. I do have a dongle and all of that kind of stuff. So, you know, here and there, I will use those. Other than that, I don't use any like over the ear headphones because simply I broke mine. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for tuning in. Everything that I did list in this video will be down in the description below. Um, everything is fairly inexpensive except for, you know, of course the iPad and the camera are the two, you know what I'm saying, the heavy hitters. But everything else, bro, I'm telling you, is probably $30 and less. I don't, I don't tend to spend that much money on when it comes down to accessories and stuff like that. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for tuning in. Um, like and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. Tap the notification bell so you can be notified anytime that I do upload to YouTube. Thank you all for showing all of the support. I've, I've surpassed where I honestly thought I would have been at by the end of the year. I mean, we still have a few days before the new year. But I would just, again, like to thank everybody for showing all of the support. And go follow me on Instagram. See you in the next video. I am out. Mm -hmm.